Hi everyone, Halloween is only a few more weeks away. Have you thought about what you're gonna be this year? Tell me in the comments below and I will try to come up with some more designs for you. This week I'm gonna start off with a haunted house design. It's a freehand design so if you're up to the challenge then give it a go and tag me on Instagram or Facebook so I can see and like your photos. As always start with base coat to protect your nails. Then a layer of a green polish as your base color. Apply to all of your nails and let it dry. Next grab a detail brush and pick up some black polish. Start by lining the edge of the nails all around. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then try to rough up the edges. You can dab or do little strokes to create the border effect. It's supposed to resemble like a black forest and you're looking through it to see the house. So once you've done this to all of your nails, we can start decorating the inside bits. For a simple manicure, you can do a couple of flying bats on each nail. Start with two dots, then join them into a white shape. Then draw a W or two curved lines on each side for the wings. For something so small like this, you just want the resemblance of a shape. It doesn't have to make sense. No one is going to look at your nails from 5cm away. And worst comes to worst, if it doesn't turn out to look like bats, you can just tell people that they are stitch nails. Next to do the accent nail, which is our haunted house, start with a little heel on the bottom of the nail. Then color it in with a brown or red color. I chose red because it adds a pop of color. Next we're going to add a big circle shape in the middle of the nail to resemble the moonlight. Make the moon as big as you can so we can have room to add the house inside it. If you're going to go over the same area with a different color, make sure the bottom layer is dried first. For the house, start with a triangle shape. Fill it in and then extend it down with an exaggerated square shape. We all know from the building blocks that triangle and square makes a house, right? <laughs> then add a chimney on one side of the roof. And if you have room, a second story room on the other side. While we wait for that to dry, add a tiny bat flying over the house. Thank you. 
Next, add a circle window inside the house. You can add a little 7 below the circle so it looks like an open door. Then another window beside it. You can also add a window on the second story as well. Depends how much detail you want to do. I find that holding your breath while painting small objects helps your hand from moving too much. Then finally finish off with a cross over the circle window as the window frames. Once you're done, don't forget to add top coat to all of your nails to protect your designs. And that's it! Happy Halloween! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for weekly new videos. Check out my Halloween playlist linked below for more nail art inspirations. Thanks for watching.